Hello everyone, Pixwitch here and welcome back to my Between the Seasons series. Last time we finished around with Maria Marsh and today we are going to visit Judith Baker. She is the neighbor of the Patel family and I also gave her a bio. One moment Judith Baker was patrolling the streets of Belladonna Cove, the next she was on a blind date with an all too eager Connor Weir. The date ended up being quite lovely and Connor did indeed make her heart skip a beat. But Judith knows they don't have a future. She has always preferred women. They can't become partners, but who knows what the future holds for them. But first, Judith will have to sit down with Connor for a heart to heart. Judith Baker has the family aspiration. Her current lifetime want is to marry off six children. She will become an elder in 39 days. I will change this in the next episode. Her relationship, she's almost friends with Anna Patel. She's friends with Justin Cleveland. She's friends with Connor Weir and she has a crush on him. She knows Isabel Baldwin. She's friends with Richard Rogers. She knows the landlord Pete Malone, she knows Katie McGaw, she's friends with Christian Olsen, and she knows Jessica Peterson. She's in the law enforcement career as patrol officer, she has two points in cooking, one mechanical, two charisma, two body, six logic, seven creativity, and three cleaning. For talent badges, she has a bronze badge in flower arranging. For her personality, she is an Aquarius. Friendly and amusing, Aquarians are excellent companions. Being well balanced in other areas helps to make them one of the most agreeable signs. She is on the sloppy side, shy, lazy, playful and nice. And her bio is the same as her household bio. And that will change in the future. For her interests, she has 9 points in work, 7 in sports, 8 in food, 7 in animals. For entertainment, you'll see she has absolutely no interest. And crime, she has 3 points. So you could say that she has minimal interest in crime. Or you can say that she dislikes crime. That is a different interpretation for that. For hobby enthusiasm, her one true hobby is nature. She also has some interest in cuisine, film and literature, tinkering, arts and crafts, as well as sports. Her interest in games is really high, however, she has no interest in entertainment, so I can't see her maintaining this high level of enthusiasm in games. For her memories, she discovered games of glory, she had a first date with Connor, she had a great date with Connor, and she kissed Connor for the first time. For her chemistry, her turn-ons are great dancer, black hair, her turn off is great cook. She has a high interest in food, 8 points, so you could say that she wants to do the cooking in the household and that her future partner should rather sit back and relax and that is how Judith would go and treat her partner. In her inventory I gave her the job stoppinator. She is a patrol officer at the moment and I'm not sure if she would want to rise through the ranks. That is something that we can think about later. So her lifetime aspiration benefits, let's first look at the family tree, so grandma's comfort soup is first. Family recipe passed down through generations, this savory soup increases the comfort of any sim who eats it, it also cures the sim of any sickness they may have. So Judith has a high interest in food, she's also nice, and she wants a big family in the future, so yes to this benefit. Slow and decay, fun and comfort, any good parent knows they need to put the needs of the family before their own. To ensure that your family gets the most fun and comfort you can provide, you're willing to forgo some in your own life. So Judith wants a big family. She also has zero interest in entertainment. So I can see her giving up her time for a family. I can see her forgoing her own needs. So yes to this one. And it's also going to be really helpful. So yes. Plead with the social worker. Every parent makes mistakes, but it is possible to get a second chance at raising your kids. If the social worker comes to collect your kids as a result of poor parenting, you'll have a chance to plead your case with her. The higher relationship you have with your kids, the more likely she is to hold off on taking them away. So Judith once again wants a big family, so yes to this, she wouldn't want to lose any of her kids. Super fertility, I'm gonna skip this one. Life of luxury, no matter how career oriented, some may be vacation days keep their morale up and their head clear. Your employers value you so much that they let you pull vacation days much faster than your colleagues. So Judith has a high, high interest in work. It's really important to her. You could say that it means that at the moment she wants financial security for herself but also in the future for her family, for her big family. So work is important to her but late 
that uh, she would want to have extra time with her children, all her children, so that they can go on holiday, so that they can just spend time together. So yes to this one, I feel that she would collect vacation days. Business instinct. While some sims may try to weigh the pros and cons of every decision, the profits often go to whoever makes the right choice the fastest. You always go with your gut and your career chance card choices are right 80% of the time every time. So Judith has a high interest in work, however she is shy and lazy and I'm not sure if that is a good combination for a cop. So with this business instinct, I think for now I am going to skip it. Slow and decay, social and comfort. Sitting in a coffee shop with a friend is a great way to unwind, but you've learned there are times when a responsible sim has to ignore their desire for social interaction and comfort. Judith is on the shy side at the moment, as you can see by her wants. She's really thinking about friendships. Even though she's on the shy side, uh, friendship is important to her, but as a patrol officer, I feel that she would have to ignore her desire for social interaction and comfort. So yes to this one because it would be helpful as well. So it is Monday morning, the couple will arrive at 2pm. So she has work Monday, Tuesday, a day off, work on Thursday and then a day off on Friday. <laughs> but then she would have to work in the weekend. Oh yeah, but her ones, she wants to become best friends of Connor. Become friends of Anna and then I locked this one in. Be best friends of Justin. She is close to becoming friends with Anna. Connor is really her story right now. Well, part of her story right now. Feel I'm going to lock this one in instead. And then I want to see if Anna is at home. Okay, so Anna came out of the apartment when we knocks on the door. So that is wonderful for Judith. They can go and work on the friendship right now. Okay, so they 55 over 24. Not friends yet. Okay, friends now. Excellent. Yeah, I knew, I knew that is a friendship that Anna really wanted. And Anna didn't have friends. Female friends, I mean, yeah, female friends. She did have, well, she does have male friends, but... They all her husband's friends, and I really wanted Anna to have a friend of her own, a female friend. And I also see that she has the one, to, uh, Judith. I mean, has the ones to obtain a pet. So I'm gonna make a note of that, and we'll see if she wants a cat or a dog. She does have a high interest in. Uh... Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's go and admire and then talk about hobby. What is your hobby again? It was nature, wasn't it? When is she going? Okay, I was, I was about to say is she going off to work, but no. Going to admire her. And then I'm gonna go and talk about a hobby. But I think Anna is also Judith's first female friend as well. But it would be nice to have her interact a bit more with Justin. Because they also, well, they recently became friends. I was going to say they're good friends, but not yet. They will become good friends, hopefully. But I also see she wants to gain a skill point so we can see what we can do with that as well. So Judith is inside now, she's gonna go and prepare some grandma's comfort soup. And I decided to have her do that because she has the one to gain a skill point. So I was thinking she doesn't need it for work, a cooking skill point. Then I was thinking because she has a high interest in food and because She's really all about having a big family, so many children, she would want to improve her cooking skill. And she would also want to perfect her soup. So after this then her couple will, well, basically be a, oh, thinking about marriage. So she was thinking about a partner. However, she hasn't met anyone, so at the moment she's a bit like... Connor, that she really wants a family. So marrying off six children, that is super important. And I feel that she, like Connor, really, really wants to start a family. 
Because she washed her hands and then I think she can go and brush her teeth and then her couple will be, yeah. Uh, but then we can call over Connor and then they can have a heart to heart. Like she knows that she prefers women, she knows she's attracted to them. It's just right now no one has really caught her eye here in Belladonna Cove. She knows that about herself. So she has to, well, she feels she has to go and tell Connor. She did have a fantastic time with him, but she will have to let him down. Yes, off she goes, and once again, thinking about babies, she really wants to... <gasps> oh, that's the driver. Yeah, can't do anything about that. I'm sorry, Judas. Can't do anything about that. I was so excited. <laughs> So it is after midnight, Judith was thinking about getting engaged. When she came home, she had all ones for games. So she played for a little bit, but now she's taking care of her needs. And then after this, she honestly needs to go to bed. It's a bit too late to call over Connor. But in the morning, I feel, yes. Well, no, he would be at work, wouldn't he? Thinking about marriage, yeah, she really, really wants to start with her family. I'm actually not sure when Connor has to go to work. I think she can call him really early in the morning. Like, immediately once it's 7am, then she can call him over. So it is the morning, and she is going to invite him over, invite Connor over. And then also, once again, she's just thinking about games. Uh, no, not today, darling, not today. So he's coming over. Excellent, so she can go and use that. Use the bathroom. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking of... Yeah, changing her interest in games, because really she has zero interest in entertainment. So yes, I think I'm going to make that change. Not now, but for the next episode. So Judith went outside to throw away their newspaper, and Connor is here. She's gonna go and admire him. <laughs> but Connor really wants to tell her a joke. And Judith really likes Connor, they get along, they both really like food. Well, I think Connor likes food, I have to go check my notes. But they enjoyed the uh, conversation. And then I am, <laughs> I'm just gonna go check my notes now. They can go and uh, chat for a little bit. So, let's see, let's see. Let's see, Rutherford Warehouse, let me check. Uh, Jeff, no, so... Connor... Uh, interest. No, I just see that he has a high interest in fashion paranormal crimes, so I didn't make a note if he has some interest in food. So I'm not sure. Oh, but she's talking about promotions and working hard. Now talking about coffee. Well, she really likes drinks. Ah, uh, but he doesn't. So I would say, yeah, Connor doesn't have a high interest in food. Yeah, I have. I have a little book with notes on all the households. So I make notes about the interests. The personality, everything that has happened in the round, observations and so on. And I only, for interest, I only include the really high interest, so... So I know that Connor really likes fashion, as you can see over here. He's bringing it up and he is really positive about it. And yeah, I also, I feel that his outfit, I mentioned this in his run, but his outfit should probably... Be a little well smarter. He did get pro uh, get a promotion in his round, so I can see him wearing something else. But also, when we play with him again, then it's going to be autumn. So I guess he would want to wear such a jacket because he was talking about a jacket just there. Oh, but they can talk about fashion for a long, long while. <laughs> And then now Connor's talking about homework help, and we have balls, just 86 million. But he was talking about homework help, about probably about children, 
Oh, she's talking about the date, how it was so unexpected, and they had a fantastic time together. And then this is when she says, yes, the date was unexpected, and we had a great time together. I really like you, I'm comfortable with you. However, and yeah, this is the however. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> Talking about lipstick and so on. I have to be honest with you. I can only be your friend. There. No, darling, we are busy with something really important and he's thinking about engagement. And he's probably thinking that maybe Judith is the one for him. He thinks maybe they can start a family, but now she's telling him, look. I'm into women. I am really, really into women. So Connor, can we please, please be friends? And Connor, Connor's like, okay. Well, not really okay, like, <laughs> that is a really simple response. Let's see, um, what can they do? I think they can just go and chat now. But then now you can see the crush is gone. He made her heart skip a beat. Yes. Talking about food now, let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah, Connor, Connor was surprised and he, yeah, he was surprised, he's disappointed. And then that is now how he's responding to her. Really, really thought that he met the one, well, a possibility. He really thought that he finally met a woman that he gets along with, a woman that he likes. And she has black hair and he really likes a woman with black hair. So she is going to go and admire him. And then she's gonna try to give him a friendly hug, he accepts that, and then she says goodbye. So she said goodbye to him, okay now she's thinking about friendship once again, wants to be best friends of Justin, mm, but right now she's closer to becoming best friends of Justin compared to Connor now. But she said goodbye to Connor, uh, she dropped a bomb on him. Uh, he didn't know how to react to that, he was surprised. I would say he didn't really have a positive reaction. And then after that she decided to say goodbye to him. And then she would have said, I have to get ready for work and I will call you later, something like that. So now Connor has to think about this. In his round he has to think about this, think about her, think about his future, about his desire for a family, what is he gonna do? So Judith is at work and I see she rolled the one to learn anger management. Judith was calm when she said goodbye to Connor but maybe his reaction just pissed her off. Maybe that could have happened. She's shy but really nice so maybe Maybe because of that she bottled her feelings? That's a possibility, but it's interesting that she rolled that wind now. And Judith is home from work. And then she's gonna go and get the mail now because she needs to go and pay bills. And once again, she's thinking about games. Alright, so it is Tuesday 11 and she needs to go and use the bathroom thinking about adopting children. Uh, marriage once again like yeah she really wants a family but she's gonna use the bathroom and then go to be oh dear yeah she is stinking she's gonna use the bath babies she's gonna use the bathroom go to bed and then adoption <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode right over here and we will see if Judith will meet a lovely lady soon. We'll see, we'll see. But everyone, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next episode. So until then, take care. Big sweet chat.